Here we are on the road to Abidus to Daslam on the way to Granicus, yet we don't seem to be fighting yet. Well, we are waiting for the right time to attack, General. I know, I know, but still, this is boring. You're the one who said for us to wait for the right time to attack in the first place. Will you quit blaming me? If I was in here, we might not be in the track for freedom in the first place. Will you guys stop arguing? Look, Darius III and his army are coming to attack us. Ready? Attack! And so they did. They set out with the hope of beating Darius, and they followed through with it. Alexander and Darius already had a feud going on. This time, you are going to be dead, and if not, you're going to wish you were dead after the damage I do to you and your army. Oh, you wait and see, Darius. They fought and fought. Then finally, after less than six months, Alexander defeated Darius. But that wasn't the last they saw of each other. Here is a map of Alexander the Great's empire. He conquered many cities. Here are some examples. Babylon. Alexandria. Jerusalem. And many more, but those are just some of them. This is a portrait of Alexander the Great. Nobody knows what he looks like, but this is what someone interpreted him to look like. So there has been a huge debate on whether Alexander the Great was a villain or a hero. Me and Katie, Katie, both have an argument. I'm a villain and she thinks that she, he's a hero. So I'm gonna state why I think he's a villain. He destroyed Persepolis, killing many, many people. And he attacked Tyre, killing 10,000 people and enslaving 30,000. The people that he enslaved, he was treated very harshly. They were like almost sentenced to death half the time. And he ordered the murder of several close advisors. And if they were really close to him, why would he murder them? I believe that Alexander the Great was, I believe that Alexander the Great was a hero because he tried to promote learning and he spared the lives of the queen and princess of Persia. He also visited all of his wounded men in battle. And although he did enslave 30,000, he used those to help rebuild all of the city-states he destroyed. That's why I believe he's a hero.